Hello, this is Sophie from Native Instruments. In this video, I'll explain how to set up a third-party Tractor Ready controller in Tractor Pro 2. A list of Tractor Ready controllers and their specifications can be found via the link on the screen right now. First of all, make sure the controller is correctly installed by following the instructions in the manual of the third-party device. Also make sure that no Native Instruments controller is connected. Now launch Tractor. When you start Tractor for the first time, the setup wizard will open automatically. You can also access the setup wizard via the preferences window. In the first step, you'll be asked to connect your external devices to the computer. If you haven't done so already, please connect the Tractor Ready device and then click Next. Select Yes from the menu to confirm that you are using an external controller. Click on Next. Now you can define which controller is connected. In the first drop down menu, select the manufacturer, and in the second, the model name. Click Next. In this step, you can choose between mixing internally in Tractor or using an external mixer. Please note that most USB controllers control the internal mixer of Tractor. If this is the case, choose No. Please refer to the documentation of your controller if you're unsure which setting to choose. If you want to control the internal Tractor mixer with your USB controller in Scratch Pro 2, you need to manually change the output routing to internal mixing afterwards. Click Next. In this window, you can choose between different configurations to customize Tractor to your needs. For a classic two-deck setup, choose two track decks. Confirm your selection by clicking on the Next button again. Now you can see an overview of your settings. Click on Finish to quit the setup wizard. If the audio indicator in Tractor's header is lighting up red, you need to check your audio configuration. Please refer to the Tractor manual in order to correctly assign your audio device and its outputs in Tractor. If you are using one of the listed Pioneer controllers on the screen, your setup is now complete. For all other controllers, we recommend defining MIDI ports which can be used for communication with Tractor. This will prevent conflicts with other devices in your MIDI environment. Open the Preferences and go to the Controller Manager. The Device menu in the Controller Manager contains all keyboard and controller mappings which have been added to your Tractor configuration. The currently selected mapping can be edited in the Controller Manager. Bear in mind that all other mappings in the menu are also active. Click on the Device menu and select the respective mapping for your Tractor Ready controller. This is a so-called generic MIDI mapping for the controller you selected in the setup wizard. The controller manager will now display all available settings for this mapping. MIDI ports for the selected mapping can be defined under Import and Output. Click on the menus and choose the MIDI ports of your controller. Some manufacturers use a generic name for the port of their device. If you can't correspond the listed name in the menu with the MIDI port of your device, try different settings until the control display in Tractor reacts to the movements of your controller surface. Now close the preferences and start using your controller with Tractor.